And now, your first alert five weather. If you need snow to get you into the Christmas spirit, there it is right there. Stunning picture from Gunnison County, and you know, there's a lot more on the way where that came from. In Colorado Springs, take a look at that sunset over the Rockies. Tonight's sunset, five minutes later than our earliest sunset earlier this month. That's good news, in my opinion, anyway. 59 degrees, current temperature out at the airport is south wind at 15 miles per hour. Live in Pueblo, looking out toward Belmont and the east side. It's pleasant in Pueblo, big 5-0 right now. No wind, no wind chill to deal with. High wind warning kicks in at 8 o'clock tonight for a good chunk of the News 5 viewing area. Of course, our main concern is the northwest side of Colorado Springs where the Blodgett Peak fire is currently burning. They could see gusts near hurricane force across that area here later tonight. Everybody going to get in on some blowing dust and strong gusty wind. Uh, again, gusts common from 70 to 80 miles per hour across those uh, areas we've shaded in yellow. Here's what's going to happen. Cold front's going to zip through here tomorrow afternoon. There's that strong westerly wind overnight tonight and during the day tomorrow. We won't, get, won't meet the exact parameters for a, a red flag warning, but make no mistake with our dry fuels, fire danger still off the charts high, no outdoor burning of any kind to stay away from anything that could possibly spark a fire. Here's what that wind is going to do and right on cue, 8 o'clock tonight, we'll have gusts into the 50s here across parts of El Paso County. No big changes late tonight into early tomorrow morning. Pueblo escaping the worst of the wind early tomorrow morning. Strongest winds across southern Colorado out of some of those southern foothills again gusts up to 70 and 80 miles per hour. Still going to see that wind tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening here across the News 5 viewing area. Temperatures tomorrow will be on the warm side. Precip comes close to the I-25 corridor, but keep in mind we're going to be down sloping, so a lot of that's going to evaporate before it reaches the ground. Lion's share of that stuff staying well west of I-25 across some of the higher elevations. This model brings in a sprinkle around sunset tomorrow evening here across parts of the Pikes Peak region. Here's what's going to happen though across the higher elevations, big wind, big snow and big problems. Winter storm warnings northern central into the San Juans through Saturday morning could see maybe four to five feet of snow across some of the San Juans here over the next five, six days. Going to see a white Christmas across the higher elevations Saturday morning. More snow on Sunday. The mountains get more snow into Monday. We'll keep it going Tuesday into Wednesday as well while we stay dry here across the lower elevations. Take a look at some of these prolific snowfall totals by Tuesday evening evening. San Juan Mountains over five feet of snow across that area. Great for water concerns and some uh, steep and deep if you're going to be skiing up across the Wolf Creek ski area. Low temperatures tonight on the warm side. That's due to that westerly wind keeping temperatures way above freezing in many areas. Afternoon highs tomorrow. The warmest we'll have for quite some time. We're tracking some big changes in that extended forecast in Colorado Springs. Here's your super seven day forecast. We are on weather alert for that high wind warning. Strong gusty wind on the way here across the city. Gusts from 65 to 75 miles per hour possible. Wind damage is certainly a strong possibility with all those trees that we weakened with last Wednesday's hurricane force wind gusts. High fire danger, blowing dust in your forecast. Christmas Day on Saturday, sunny, breezy, cooler, but 56 is still way warmer than where we should be on Christmas Day. Going to see a stronger cold front roll in by the middle part of next week on Wednesday. The high temperature struggles to hit the freezing mark and in Pueblo dry skies for the next seven days. Tomorrow really warm, but the price to pay is that strong gusty wind gusts from 60 to 70 miles per hour across the city with blowing dust. Cooler, but still a really warm day on Christmas Day. The real December shows up next week by next Wednesday, a high of 34 degrees with partly cloudy skies. And in Canyon City, you could see a sprinkle or a light shower at times tomorrow. Most of the moisture is going to be west of you, though. Christmas Day, a bright Christmas, not a white Christmas. 61 degrees with sunny skies and for Woodland Park. A few passing rain and snow showers to go along with some gusty wind. Strongest wind will be overnight into tomorrow morning. Your Christmas Day forecast, sunny but windy and a high of 47. Time for traffic.